you know, stallion, huh? Okay. Uh, me, I'm just an earthling. Okay, regular guy, human being. As far as uh, what made me becoming, you don't become one. You're born atheist. Everybody is born without any belief, without any knowledge of a deity or a superhero. And right there, I already get you. And your questions, well, mostly they're just moot. <laughs> because they all depend on the assumption that there is a superhero. Well, that's why we were all born atheists, because everybody has to learn that from their parents or priests or whatever. You know that. If you're really going to dumb yourself down on purpose and then make a video showing that you've done so, you can have a little more independence in your questions. You know, because the ones you ask have already been asked. You all just refuse to hear the answers. You all refuse to just understand it. We happen to just understand science. It's not hard. Okay? Where do we come from? Do you believe in evolution? Why do you? Uh, all that shit's been answered. You know, and since, because you don't get it, that doesn't mean that by default there's you've got a superhero that will have you living forever and all that crap. Or is it? Or are you one of the ones that? Well, they all have that. Or, or are you going to go to paradise with seventy-two virgins? Yeah, that's one religion that's really freaky too. You Christians and you freaking not uh, Jews and Muslims, Islam, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, whichever way. Okay, I'm okay. It's all delusional, sexually frustrated cults. You know, every one of your punishments and rules are sexual in nature. There's always this uh, thing about how you have to. What, there are all rules about what you do to your wife or your daughter. Or your son. There's no rule about what you do to yourself. <laughs> Except for, you know, Leviticus. If you, you know, and then you're going to be one of those that say, oh no, we're a modern Christian. We, we want to, you know, follow the New Testament. Yet you still jack around with the Genesis and, and the homosexuals are evil and all that other shit, which all comes from the Old Testament. And you probably still believe in Noah and the guy who lived in a fish, Jonah, for three days. So I don't see how you can even answer, ask your questions intelligently. Delusional people have weird ideas about how the world works. Christians, Islam, Muslims, Jews, whatever, Buddha, all that. Spiritual. <laughs> this is the real world, which is corporeal. We have atoms and protons and neutrons and and so on and so on. I could explain the science to you, but you don't get it. You won't believe it. I mean, you're, you're asking these questions to try to, you're trying to ask them as if they're rhetorical. In other words, they deserve no real answer that they just uh, demand thought. Okay. Well, we've thought about it already. And we've been asking you guys questions for forever. Like, for instance, you're the one who follows the Bible. How about you answer a question? Why doesn't your God answer prayers? I mean, really. Why does your Messiah guy, Jesus, why does he lie all the time? How about this? If your daughter came to you and said she was pregnant, yet not married, would you take her out into the middle of the town, choose your neighbors wisely and have them choose their stones wisely, bury her to her neck and stone her to death? Would you do that? If your brother came to you and said he's an atheist, would you grab him and have your neighbors all get together and y'all drag him out to the edge of this town and crucify him or something and kill him and skin him, according to Leviticus. Would you do that? So that everyone knows evil does not exist in this town. 
You need to answer those questions. Because you're a Christian. And before you can answer legitimate questions about science and such, you first must read your Bible critically and make some real decisions and answer the questions I've asked. It's that simple. I was born an atheist. Therefore, I have no superheroes. You can call him God all you want, but it's a fucking superhero, deity worship. It's a mental health issue because it's a delusion. Now, you whine and whine about how evolution isn't proven in so many gaps and that, that, that. So you think it's done by magic? Which is really more reasonable? Think about that. But you'll deny magic, of course, because it's the devil's duel. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Fuck. Your questions are goofy. You're goofy asking them. And just, uh, the answer is, get a grip. Those questions have been asked and answered many times. But y'all just don't care. You don't really <laughs> want to hear the answer because you don't really care. You're going to try to come up with some goofy shit like the eyeball. Oh, it's impossible to have evolved. But the flagellel, with its little motor and tail, you call it a motor. In case you don't get it, nature is just so, so, well, apparently powerful. It creates and destroys constantly. You want me to tell you how life was created? It's a simple chemical or or a, a component, I should say, uh, elemental composition. Yeah, you take carbon and nitrogen, right? You slam an asteroid into them, <laughs> full of the amino acids and the other elements that are in the, all asteroids. And there's water in there too. There's water on the moon. You slam it into our ocean, which is full of oxygen and hydrogen at so many you know miles per second and all the heat and everything just actually combines the elements into another amino acid which is actually the building blocks of life it is life it's very simple the japanese found that out with their when they went to the moon with the kayuga instrument and uh kaguya excuse me and uh, they uh, not only photographed the moon, they completely peeled it away, looked at every element. There's actually an uh, orange substance, a dust, I, they called it at first, it was a dust. And they found out it is an element. And within the element, in a microscope, there's atoms swimming around in water. Because it was trapped billions of years ago when the the earth, the pre-earth, the early earth, which is still kind of molten, was slammed into by another planet that was actually growing to. Oh, hell, you don't believe this stuff because you don't get science. And you think it's a religion, so you think that God's not going to like it. If you believe in your superhero, if you think your God is so omniscient, then apparently he created science. And you're using a computer. So get a life and stop lying to yourself. Grow up, walk out of the delusion. Make sure you climb all the way over the fence. Because if you get on the fence, like agnostics, yeah, that's their little favorite thing. On the fence, just in case, you get shot from both sides. Not just one. And you get fired on from both sides. And you get hit. You got to fall one side or the other. That's a quote from my brother, Wayne, Captain Do William Newberry Reynolds. And it's perfect. Freaking egg, uh, sitting on the fence so they don't get hit both ways. But when they do, they got to fall one way or the other. It's just like, you know, you might as well make up your mind now. You know, and stop with all the foolish. Gobble to you. you know, religion is really going to go by the wayside. It's getting real tiring. People are, are actually figuring out 
that it, that it is a mental health issue because people get they, they get so uh, fanatical it's called with this messiah complex which is just an astrological thing you know anthropomorphized personified it's all it is 12 apostles well you, you just you know you're stupid stitches yeah i said stupid stitches <laughs> it's my favorite uh, uh but well you know really there's nothing else to say people with delusions they tend to not listen they tend to uh like you ask all those questions and they're all they're all just like the ones that the all you christians like to like to ask to try to sound intelligent and you know at first they could they sound that way but to a, a truly free thinker who went to real school and is willing to understand science and math and all those things it's really rather illogical and like i said it, it tends to turn into a mental health issue with us when we hear you people spout your delusions so vehemently it as much as to like get on it make these videos and ask those goofy questions that have already been answered so believe it or not you were born an atheist you were indoctrinated as a child and you've taken it a little too far <laughs> like the guy over in Norway Oh man, give me a break. Come on. We already got the Muslims doing this shit. You guys, the Christians did it decades or, or thousands of years or whatever. You know, they had the angels issue and all that shit. When will you all, you people, grow up? Are you guys going back to that? Is it that you want to turn the world into a theocratic government? That's just crazy. Come on. Yeah. Since you really are an atheist, I want to give you a little clue. You know, as far as morality goes, it's common sense. We all pretty much know it's bad to want to murder somebody, or steal from them, or, or hate, or take things, or just be mean, or be a bully. Those things, we just know they're... It's really easy to know right from wrong. It's called maturity. It's called listening. It's called compassion, paying attention, and following the rules. It's very simple. The government, secular by the way, makes laws, follow them. That's part of your morality, if you like. The other part, you just kind of learn. It's really easy. Trust me, you don't want to follow the Ten Commandments because most of them are just your superhero bragging about himself. And telling you if you don't follow him, he's going to kill you. <laughs> so what kind of morality is that? And what kind of morality do you want to follow of a, of a thing that wants to murder all the time? This thing is just so, it's killed billions. Flooding, Sodom and Gomorrah, fire, Joshua going through the land of what he now calls Israel. Originally it was Palestine or whatever. Actually it was the Hittite Empire. And, Go land of Goshen, whatever. But it, all it is about, oh, go ahead and kill them. Uh, if you find virgins, you can you can have them. They're yours. Have you read your Bible? That said, good evening, everybody. Remember, don't vote for fucking Barry again. He's the greatest. Really, check it out. He's made the country fucking worse. Is he out of his mind? Well, yeah, yeah. Remember? He's now chosen a delusion. <laughs> I think I'll be a Christian. Our president. Whatever. Good night, everybody. No, I'm not drunk or anything. Pissed off, actually. <laughs> you can believe that one. And this guy. <laughs> Same old shit, man. Take it easy, everybody. And the earthly, just an earthly.